Hi, it's Marcy Locke, and we are continuing on with our stairwell workout. You joined us for the high intensity interval, something that you can rock out there. We're going to utilize these steps and rock out a chest workout, but we're going to go in between chest and back, chest and back, trying to hit those major muscles back to back. So I'm actually going to grab the camera and let Cody show you some cool moves um, and me explain them so that we can go from quick chest moves utilizing the stairs to quick back moves utilizing our bands. Now, if you're stairwell, doesn't have something like this, this is why we're like, yeah, this is perfect for back too. Um, and then it's so easy to just modify and everything that he can do here, using that, you just rock your band out right here. And you can have him back either completely flat, like if he's gonna do a row and I'm right here, you just wanna make sure your movement, which I'm gonna explain, that's why I'm gonna talk while he's doing it, is that your movement is really in alignment. So I can do here, but if this bothers your back, you can come 45 degree, or most time people will feel it more here in their back, but you need to lean over here this way. So either lean over flat when you're doing it, or you come at that side side and up. What we never want to see is this, the curve in your back. It's always the locked in so that you're, you're just working right back there, which I'm going to pull now as Cody's doing it. So we're going to start off with back incline presses, push-ups, so that it's like you're using an incline step. I'm going to take the camera and let Cody do it now. So he's going to utilize the step and do an incline push-up just like as if you were kind of doing an incline press at the gym. So what I want him, you to be aware of, notice how Cody's arms, I'm gonna come up this view from the side and you can see his arms are tilted down or his elbows are backwards. See right there, you saw his chest comes over the step, but his elbows are slanted. It's like a 45 degree angle is how I teach people to work their chest because if he is, has his arms up, show an incorrect one, Cody. Your arms have to, with the step, your arms have to be way out but it would be all in your arms. And people don't know how to do it, so it's in there. You can't even do it almost, huh? He's like, no, I know how to do it right. Yeah, okay. So, and then other thing, go down again, really slow and controlled. There's the point of contraction. Now watch, slow and controlled back up. He stops right there. Like before he locks out his elbow, you wanna stop so that you're keeping it in the chest. So standing up, I wanna point this out real quick. This is where he's working, inside the chest, right? So point the arms down, okay? If you press up, See how it works the chest? But now if his arms are up, what we were trying to show you, the incorrect direction, if you're doing it like this, right? Elbows up here, high, then you're working your arms. So we wanna keep them low so you're working the chest. Okay, so he's gonna go from an incline push-up, and how many are you gonna do? Rock out 20 plus minis. The whole point is fatigue. See, he's like, I'm gonna do it till I'm fried. So if you're not using weight here and he's using the step, he's gonna do maybe more reps. Or after he does 10, 10 minis, or his 20 minis, 10 minis, and then he's still not quite fried, he's gonna rock out more singles, more minis. He's going straight from that to his back row. So he grabs the band on the, the stairwell, okay? Now he locks in his core, his chest is up. Now he brings it back down. I'm going slow, I'm gonna show the side from this direction. His whole purpose is his elbows are trying to, it's like you pretend they're trying to touch each other behind your back. See, and then he barely, so he holds this position. See how he's working all of this in here. This is the contraction. See how it's barely behind his back. Now let go slow. Right there, he stops and he's back again. Pulls it back, squeeze and hold. Slow and controlled is what we want. Squeeze, hold, slow, barely. Squeeze, hold, slow, barely. If he's doing this fast, he's working his arms. So he's gonna rock out 20 of those, 20 minis, 10 minis, a static hold, and then 10 more minis. If he's not fried, he's gonna keep going. So sometimes, a lot of times with these bands, if I'm, and if his resistance isn't tight enough, pull up tighter. See, he just got, he's gotta pull in and bring it in even tighter. Okay, so he's gonna rock out his 20 and his minis till he's fried, and you're, you're gonna be like taking mini breaks, right, Code? He's like, ah, he has to stop real quick. He's like, whatever, <laughs> it hurts, and then jump back in, and, okay? So you're doing it until you're fried. That's the whole point and purpose, and controlled, slow motion. Okay, so now he's gonna jump down into, what are we doing, Cody? Just, we did incline, oh, alternating push-ups. So now he's gonna jump down and use the floor and do alternating push-ups. Notice also, his, his butt is always down. His, his back is what I call like a launching pad. His body is this tilt. Okay, so again, his arms are down. He's starting in the middle position. He's gonna do four singles. One, two, three, controlling it. Now he's gonna pop his arm hand together and pop out to the side. One, two, three. Just jump over us, sorry. Four, back to the middle for fours. Three, four, other side, back for four. Now he's kind of going side to side this way. The other variation, this time, Cody, is pull your one arm back closer to you. See, so he's, it really changes up the variation of your chest. 
three, four. Now he's going to do as many as he can for fours, and then he's going to drop to doing twos in each position and section. And Cody, he's rocking out a little fast because he's he's really fit and he doesn't have to go quite as slow. He's trying to get more cardio into this as well. But you want to really control your form that you, you're not jumping in your elbows. Okay, so now he's going to go to twos. Then he'll go to singles side to side. Just jump into singles. They know what twos are. So singles, he'd go side. He'd control this. Slow and controlled. Other side, controlled. Till he's fried, then what I want him to do is jump into minis. So now he's gonna go down low into mini position for 10. Staying really low, frying out this chest. You barely get through that 10. You're about to fall on the floor. Your face is gonna hit. Oh, you barely push back up and you go through it again. And rock out those minis. And this is the, the point of fatigue that we're creating so that your body creates change. It's not about, oh, well, I went through the motions. Literally, it's like, oh, like I'll drop to my knees and barely be able to push myself back up. And then it's like, oh, quick breath quick mini break and I'm going to jump back in again. So you rock out your, your chest alternating push-ups. Okay. So now we're, it just defocused. Does it always do that? This is the coolness about live video when you're just traveling and doing it on your own versus professional camera people. Will it refocus on its own? <laughs> Otherwise you guys are going to experience blurry. Maybe that's why. Huh? Okay. So he's going to go into, this time we'll just show up without the the um because he's not needing the stairwell it's still fuzzy but hopefully you guys can kind of see his motion here okay so his arms are wide with the band he's going to pull it down almost like a wide grip pull down that comes behind you now i never do wide grip pull downs at the gym with a cable behind me it just is asking to hurt your back but it's perfect or like your neck and your alignment is so off but this is perfect for your with a band so i'm going to come behind cody here Slow and controlled, watch. Now hold it for me, hold it for me. He's got it down low. See how his, his arms are wide. His elbows are barely bent. So he's squeezing all of this. Now come up, Cody. He doesn't come up that far, right there, boom. He's halfway back up and then he pulls it back down out wide. He's hurting right now, I can tell. Just holding this, this is, this is intense, holding this motion. Okay, now I'm gonna show one other variation. So he's gonna rock out 20 of those, then guess what he's gonna do? First go into minis before you do the other variation. He's gonna rock, now he's like, oh, I gotta hold it. Hurry and do those minis, slow and controlled, 10 minis. He's not jumping around or it's in his joints. Okay, so he rocks out his 10 minis, he holds it for 10 seconds, ow, painful, and then he rocks out 10 minis. The other variation we're gonna show real quick is he's gonna hold the band in closer. Okay, so the, the band starts in closer. Thank you for that, that was awesome. Love your participation. Okay, and then he's gonna bring his, it's more like he's keeping his elbows bent, and they come down to the halfway point, like they're bending, and then they go back up barely, and then halfway. So they never kind of drop down too low and the elbows are kind of staying in a bent position. Again, he's working the same whole general area, but it's really just kind of varies it and intensifies it in another area. Because we want variation, otherwise our body plateaus in the same area, it adapts, you can actually create that you create injury because you're not strong in all areas. So see, can you hear him breathing? And this is slow and controlled. Look at his form here. Okay, his back is that launching pad locked. It's all in the back. See, there's his level 10 face. It's, it's intense. Yeah, <laughs> it burns. It's good stuff, right? He's doing his minis. And see, he could have even done like 10 singles, 10 minis. And then he's not quite, he's like, okay, I can do five more. So we'll go five singles, five minis, and you fatigue it out. But our goal is usually always aim for at least 20 reps and your 20 minis with your static holding between. Okay, so now he's on his last set of chest. So he just rocked out. We're gonna do three sets back to back. So he's just getting in a basic three set workout for his chest and back, because we gotta get on a bus soon, actually. <laughs> and so then now he's gonna do decline push-ups. And actually, I'm gonna have you show both variations, the variation where your foot is on the step and the variation I did the other day with my, you're like on the steps in the middle. So there's two different degrees that you can do this. So he's gonna do a decline push-up. So his feet are just on the step. See, from this angle, you can really see how his elbows come back towards his ribs. It's a 45 degree angle so that you're working your chest. If your elbows are up by your shoulders, freaking, you're working your arms, peeps. You're not working your chest. So he's slow and controlled. And see, when he comes up, he's not locking out the elbows. He stops right before he locks out and he controls this. I want you people watching to go a little bit slower so that your form's controlled. He's been doing this for how many freaking years that he can just, yeah, if you. <laughs> okay, so now show with your coming up from the top of the stairwell. So this is the other direction that you can do it. And he's gonna put his feet on the top of the stairs and climb down the stairs. Now, didn't you do like bear crawls? 
we're gonna show the bear crawls right after this. So if it's the last, cause I'm gonna show one, we're gonna do superset move right after. So it really fatigues out the muscle and creates change. It's just gonna be, it takes you an extra minute basically, but it'll create so much more change for you because you fatigue out the muscle. So see here, a lot more control. He's gotta really control his, his body weight going down on that decline as well versus just his feet on the step. See, so take a mini break if he has to. Okay, so he rocks that out. See, I just made him, I just made him do the other ones too. Yeah, be careful. Uh, this is when you, you realize that you have to have your doctor's note that we take no liability for you falling down the stairs. <laughs> Okay, show them bear crawls. So then right after, if you can do a move that you burn it out, if you don't wanna do something like this, going up or down the stairs in a bear crawl, then just even get into uh, another chest press or a chest push up on the floor and just burn out one more move for your chest so that you're, you're really creating that change. It fatigues it out, it doesn't give it a rest where normally we go from chest to back. Okay, so he might go up and down, up and down, up and down a couple times and just burn it out. Now he's gonna go to his last move for his back, which is a T row. Let's use this stairwell again. But again, he could, doesn't, if he doesn't have something like this or you wanna do standing on it, he's gonna stand on it. So see, this is where you could do it in your room or anywhere. And he's just gonna watch his back position, T row. He likes to call them back flies because probably he's like, what's a T row? Every time I say, let's do a T row, it's because your body is basically making a T. So see, it barely comes down, lock it in. So bring your chest up a little bit, Cody, so they can see more of the T motion. See, he brings it up and his body basically makes a T and then he barely drops back right there. And then he's gonna pull back up again and squeeze, barely drops back and squeeze, okay? So he's gonna rock out his 20 of these and then his minis and his static, and then how we're gonna burn this out, we're gonna hit the rear delts, which is also your back, but it's gonna be your shoulder, rear shoulder kind of combined. So after he does these, he's gonna hold it out wide, change your positioning, and go into that rear delt. So you, it's like the, the reverse fly, like this. So it's just like your, when you go into a, a fly move, it's kind of like you're, um, it's kind of like you're doing, a, a, you're trying to hug a tree, but this is the reverse motion of it. So pull, boom. Now watching this motion, his elbows, his arms are wide. Check that out. He bare, his, like his arms are straight. You're gonna need to have a lot less slack on that band because these are intense. So you can go higher. Going high, elbows bent a little bit and it barely comes back down. Squeeze there, barely down right there. Up, slow it down for me, right there. So turn the arms just a little more. So they're like this. There, see, and that rocks out. He's like, man, this is painful, just doing one or two at a time. This one, I'm like holding the top of the bands. I don't have that much resistance because you want to go high and barely come down. So it's right here. Just trade me real quick. I'll show one more variation. So how is it to wrap this? I'm going to show the variation right here. And that can even be on my knees. Okay, so say normally if I was doing a chest fly, which, hey, guess what? You could have done a chest fly too as a different move if you wanted to in the same position. Normally how I te teach people to do a chest fly is you see my elbows are bent down that 45 degree position and you're hugging a tree, okay? It's all about, I'm working the chest, my elbows are soft. If I ever lock my elbows, it all goes right here. Elbows, I didn't say elbows, peeps. I know, I like to play with that. Okay, so it's right here. So same thing with the reverse fly. I basically turn around and it's here. My, my arms are out wide though. Instead of my elbows bent, my arms are out wide. It's barely bent, it's soft. And I go boom, see how it works? My back and my back shoulder. It goes boom, barely back. Boom, barely back. So I can do this with the band right here in front of me. And it's not a big motion, it's a tiny motion. So I go squeeze. Barely back. See if I go here, I've lost it. Do you see that? Lose it in my in my back and my shoulder. Squeeze. Barely back. I'm still holding it right here. I'm gonna come back even just a little more. Squeeze. Barely back. But the goal is that my elbows are kind of out wide leading, but they're not bent. Because as soon as I go here, I shift it onto my back. I'm trying to get my back and my rear delt right here. Okay. So same thing. I could stand up and I could do this, or like Cody was doing, I could do it. Then over, but it just remember that your arms are out really wide. Oh, it's a tiny motion. See, I can't even go that high. And I'm even at the end of my resistance right here. Barely up, barely down. Barely up, barely down. And I'm just rocking out 20 of these. And then I'm going to 
rock out those minis. I'm really watching my form, because as soon as I drop back here, it's in my shoulders. As soon as I bend my elbows too much, it's in my back. That's why I just want to control that tiny motion. And that minis, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that. Four, five, six, seven. See, I'm burning and I didn't do my 20. So you should be going, ah. Oh. Okay, throw back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you are doing the right form, you're going to kick your own trash. You're going to get the results. And this is short, sweet, and effective. We just went boom, 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 chest back, chest back, chest back, super quick. And you create a little by sweetness. Okay. <laughs> and, so, and you can create that fast, quick workout when you're traveling. We also rocked out our hand intensity girls here today. And boom, we're done. All you need is freaking man and some stuff. Get out.